your team is implementing new technology practices to bring federal procurement into the digital age with electronic procurement solution. Can you tell me what that is exactly? Yeah, absolutely. You know, buying stuff in government really isn't easy. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of old legacy systems that are outdated and we're still dealing in 2019 with a whole bunch of paper. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to deliver is an experience that is very similar to what people expect in their everyday lives. You know, you go home, you pick up your, cell, your phone, you, you scroll through your shop, you put things in your shopping cart, you check out and you're done. You know? And so what we're trying to do is, is really bring government procurement into the digital age. And we're going to do that by leveraging best-in-class uh, cloud-based technology for the electronic procurement solution. And, and what that is about is delivering that modern buying experience that we're used to in our everyday lives into government while at the same time giving procurement professionals the tools they need to deliver and execute on strategic procurements. It's about making it easier for the people working in government that are trying to just get the things they need, making it that easier so they can deliver those services to Canadians. So what would you say is next for procurement modernization in your eyes? I think it's amazing what's happening in the world of artificial intelligence, and I'm really excited about what that world will bring, particularly for how it will help advance the modernization of procurement as we move into the future. You know, companies like Facebook are training robots to negotiate. Uh, there's a company called Made in the Free World that's actually using artificial intelligence to detect slave labor and ethical issues in supply chains around the world. Uh, and there's a local company called Mindbridge that's using artificial intelligence to detect fraud based on system irregularities and, and improper transactions in a, in a general ledger of a company. You know, it's amazing stuff that's happening in the world uh, that is, will all become available to us in the government of Canada because what we've done is we've acquired a cloud-based technology that is continuously updated. So as the technology modernizes, as the world of artificial intelligence continues to grow, we will only benefit from that continued innovation. Comment les étudiants et les nouveaux fonctionnaires peuvent-ils contribuer à moderniser la fonction de contrôleur? Euh, C'est important de toujours garder l'esprit ouvert et d'être curieux. Quand on sort de l'université, on veut apprendre plein de choses, on, on a une bonne connaissance, mais on va apprendre d'autres choses. Et puis c'est important de, de maintenir ça à travers toute sa carrière. Mm -hmm. Euh, comment est-ce que les étudiants peuvent contribuer à moderniser? C'est justement à poser des questions, questionner le statu quo. Pas avoir peur de, euh, de dire qu'est-ce qu'on connaît, puis de démontrer peut-être une façon différente de faire les choses. Parce que vous arrivez avec un vent de fraîcheur à, à l'intérieur des équipes qui sont souvent ensemble depuis très longtemps. Alors, utilisez ça à votre à bon escient, puis n'ayez pas peur de parler, n'ayez pas peur de dire euh, ce que vous pensez. Euh, mais je pense que ce que vous amenez, c'est vraiment votre curiosité puis votre, euh, votre capacité d'apprendre. Euh, quel type de projet dirigez-vous euh, pour contribuer à moderniser la fonction du contrôleur? Bien, pour la fonction du contrôleur, je pense qu'il est important, c'est justement de, de demeurer moderne et agile. Donc, pour moi, ce qui est important, c'est qu'on promouvoit les différentes techniques de façon, bien, la façon de faire les choses. Donc, on est en train de développer notre, nos capacités de faire de l'analyse de données. L'analyse de données, ce n'est pas quelque chose qui est nouveau, on en a tout le temps fait en audi. Mais ce qu'on est en train de faire, c'est vraiment utiliser de l'information qui est beaucoup plus large que ce qu'on est habitué. Donc, aller chercher la numérisation de tout ce qu'on fait, euh, les données deviennent de plus en plus accessibles. Et puis, on essaie d'utiliser de, des données euh, d'une façon euh, plus habile et de différentes sources pour mieux appuyer le travail qu'on fait à l'intérieur de, de nos vérifications. D'essayer de, de développer une compétence importante pour la haute gestion. Aussi, ce que j'essaie de faire, c'est que je suis dirigeante principale d'Audi et d'évaluation. Je cherche des moyens où est-ce que l'Audi et l'évaluation peuvent travailler ensemble pour euh, offrir un service euh, exponentiel à la haute gestion parce qu'on a, on a chacun nos ressources, on a chacun nos forces et nos faiblesses. Moi, ce que je veux, c'est mettre les deux ensemble, d'essayer de, de développer une compétence euh, importante pour la haute gestion. Your department's implemented the robotic process automation to undertake routine transactions. Can you tell me how this initiative got started? Sure. Our robotics project was conceived as part of our overall enterprise data strategy. As a first step within the strategy, we wanted to put an emphasis on improving the overall timeliness and quality of our financial data, and we knew automation was a great way to accomplish this objective. In what other areas of financial management could you see this innovation applied? Again, I see a lot of opportunities to leverage this technology. We're planning to automate any and all repetitive transactions, including the management of financial commitments, invoice entry, and more. Moving forward, all our projects will have their unique challenges, but we now have the infrastructure largely in place to leverage this technology for all routine transactions, both financial and non-financial. 
What can students or newly appointed public servants expect from working in financial management today? Technology has really presented us with an opportunity to elevate the function at a greater place than ever before. And for this reason, I see it as a really exciting time for finance and finance professionals. The way we work with data is changing, and with these changes, finance professionals will need to be more digitally and data-minded in everything they do. In this way, we will be able to continue to advance a financial function into the future.